All right, so let me explain what I did. This thing, let me just show it to you. Come on, puppy. This baby right here, it wasn't, I wasn't hearing the pitch from here. And so I know that the keyboard, the keyboard on the other one, which I'll show you in a second, was, was not working, so I, let, I cleaned it. I took the whole thing apart and I sprayed it down with deoxy, cleaned all the pans and pots and all that stuff. Uh, but I left it on and, and it warmed up over a while. And it, uh, it hadn't been started in a long time. So I left this one on for a couple hours and it started, I started to hear it ever so subtly, like, the, whoop, 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 like it was coming to life. So what I wanna do now is clean it. I just wanna get this screw in nicely. Come on, puppy, line up. Where are you? Come on. And we'll cut to me after I have this screwed in. Right there, got it. Who the man? Okay, got one. Well, I didn't fix it yet, I'm going to. And let's see, where's our hole? There it is. Up, 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 up. I would say it's right. Oh, shh. Right about. Come on. When do you think sunset is? I mean, not when do you think. What time is it now, is my question. Okay, ho, 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 ho. Come on. We'll come back after I get this. Okay, we're back. Hi. As a child, my father told me the engineers would open up the boards and just spray the shit out of this stuff. And get all the crap off. I honestly should have gotten in there with a vacuum first. And uh, this I'd like to touch from the other end. So we'll bring it down. Let me loosen them. Spread, spread, spread. And down we go. I'm gonna pull these guys off. We'll go all the way here. We'll go all the way to Okay, there, boom. Five, right on the nose. And let's get paper towel. These are the ones giving me the most trouble. These pots. So I'm gonna clean them all up. I'm gonna hit them several times. And we're gonna listen to it. Let's see if it works. Shit goes everywhere. Okay. I mean, years. Maybe two decades. Maybe two decades since it's been played. A whole lot can happen. Thank God I had it in air-conditioned storage but still <laughs> also these faders could all use a little bit of lube
get it moving, move all that crud. All that stuff has been sitting in there for years, saying, why doesn't anybody play me? Why doesn't anybody play me? I'll tell you why. Because they have virtual instruments now, and you're noisy, and your gain is dirty. Well, no, that's not true. But you're heavy and clunky, and really, you're very cool. The coo I mean, most people, I say 98%, 99% of people can't tell the difference. And I, I say that as a, a certainty. Because just like a good jeweler can't tell the difference between a good cubic zirconia, zirconium, zirconium, and a diamond without a loop. You know, good ears, unless you're listening to with super high fidelity speakers, and even then, it gets all messed up, it gets all played with in the, uh... wait, did I spray this one? I think it was this one I sprayed. Once you start messing with that, you know, once you start in post, you change the sound, you beef it up, throw compression on it, delay, reverb, it's hard to track its origin. I think it's important that we have audio files, just like it's important that we have people who who take food seriously, cuisine seriously, or else you'd be eating, you know, ham on white bread all day. Because what is this? Food is food, you know what I mean? Hey, hey it's, to it's, it's, it's tomato sauce. And this is ketchup. You know what I mean? It's tomatoes. It's, it's, it's tomatoes and it's like a sauce. I don't know why I have, by the way, I am from New York, so whatever. I can talk like this. Oh, by the way, there's a guy named, what's his name, Joe Dispenza? I've got a whole bit I wanna do on this spiritual dude named Joe Dispenza who, who gives guided uh, meditations. I, I have no idea what he sounds like, but I have a feeling this is my impression of a guy named Joe Dispenza giving meditation advice. All right, close your fucking eyes. This is Joe Dispenza and we're gonna meditate. Did I already do this one? I've been talking too much. I think I did. You can never do too much. Close your fucking eyes. You relax. I want you to breathe. Are you breathing? I swear to God, I, you, I swear. You, are you breathing? <laughs> All right. We're going to clean this property. Um. So, I remember I found these. These are from, my, my, from the studio my parents used to have in the 70s in New York. It's called Celestial Sounds. I don't even know if you could find it on the internet. But it was, you know, somewhat popular. They did business. Um, I know Arnold Schwarzenegger recorded his workout album there, which was, to me, oh, I don't think Arnold really came. I think they did some mastering there or something, or just some added stuff. He did his voiceover in Los Angeles. Anyway, the point is, this came from that studio, and as a teenager, I would play with this. And I, honestly, I didn't, I mean, I took all the patches, there's all these patch books, and they'll give you all these instructions, and I would play with it that way, but it wasn't the same as what I'm doing now, where I'm really getting to understand the routing of all the signals. <laughs> I didn't, uh, I didn't care to understand the path, you know, but here we are. Look at these guys, you know how happy they are? Like, oh, we were so dry and tight and unlubed for so many years and we're just sitting there in storage on our sides and finally I get to lie down. I said, it's okay buddy, I, you know, it's my fault. And I expect them to work like, like they're brand new. Who am I? I'm a jerk. I'm an insensitive jerk. Right, Jenny? Yeah. Yeah, she knows. But I have my, my, my reasons. It's not that I'm insensitive. I'm just trying to like lay out the facts as they are. Why do I have to... I can feel with the best of them, but sometimes the feeling makes no sense if it's just counterproductive to achieving the goal.
field, but don't let it get in your way. I mean, feeling's a wonderful thing. I mean, if you don't feel, how do you know if your shoes are too tight? You know? That's what I say. Yeah. Okay, Jenny wants to go to sunset. Um, I'm just going to hit these two. One, two, three, four. Of course, you never want to rush something like this. You want to take your time and... But, when you have someone like Jenny who don't play, you move quickly. It's not like I couldn't come back. But it's also good to let them sit for a while and soak, and then we can hit them again. Okay. I want to hit these guys again. Don't you dare hit stop. I want to say goodbye to my, my friends. I know you guys like me because you've watched the entirety of this video. You watched it from beginning to end. Did I not shave? Shit! I look so much younger shaven.